guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Audrey and I have an extreme clean declutter for you guys today. this is embarrassing like I want to keep the camera up here I'll just be honest uh, below me it's embarrassing it really is like being home all the time, I have gotten behind on laundry a little bit. I feel like I'm constantly cleaning and that's the one area I haven't been good at keeping up with. And for Easter, I hid, if you haven't seen that video uh, where I tell you what I got my kids for Easter, I'll link that down below. And I hid all their stuff in here and some of you guys said you guys do the same thing so you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then it was my daughter's birthday, April 17th, and I also hid her, her stuff in here. So, like, I had clothes over it, and then I just, like, never picked them up over, like, a pile. Just started to grow and grow and grow. And uh, before I knew it, here we are. So, I'm standing in the closet magically somehow. Let me know. Comment down below. Are there any anybody who can relate to me here that maybe their closet isn't clean? Usually it's pretty clean, but it's getting too cluttered. I haven't decluttered in forever. So I'm gonna share it with you. This is embarrassing. It's pretty good up here. And then, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what have I done? What is this pile? Like, can anyone relate? Or is that just me? Okay. So I am going to film me decluttering this entire closet. Okay, I started off cleaning the closet by just picking everything up so I could actually see my floor and see what was going on with all the cubbies. I absolutely love using the cubbies to organize like my sweaters, my pants, um, some of my shoes go in one of the black bins and then my tank tops go in the other. And so that works out well for me. So I want to keep that system, but obviously I got a little lazy and laundry piled up. And so it just needed to be refolded and reorganized. So I went ahead and went through the cubbies just to see, and you can see some of it still had tags on it. So that's for summer. Um, but I go through and I fold all of my camis. Now these, um, I have two cubbies for them. I wear pretty much a tank top every single day. Uh, let me know, comment down below. Do you guys always wear tank tops as well? I feel like I have so many and as long as they're in good shape, there's no reason for me to get rid of them. And so I just refolded them in my little tote so that they were organized. Um, but I really have a lot of them because I wear them every day. And then I did go through my shoes and just make sure that they're uh, something that I still want to keep and I wear. And so I found a few that um, I could definitely donate. My jeans, I don't know. I have a hard time getting rid of a ton of them just because some of them I wear strictly for work and then others I wear like not at work. And so I feel like I kind of have more because of work. Um, as a teacher, you need to have, you know, a few more dressy outfits. And so I have pants that are uh, for when I need to go to work. I went ahead and organized my shoes and you can see I definitely uh, kind of played around to see what looked best. And then I end up later on in this video turning my shoe thing to the side and I actually like it better that way because I could hardly reach my jewelry which is why later on you're gonna see it was a disaster up there and now I'm able to reach it and so I think it works so much better so here's the disaster zone you can't even see what's going on up there so it definitely just needs to all be taken down and cleared cleaned and organized Okay, 
Okay, so one of the reasons that I have so much clothes for me, I feel like I have too much clothes, is I worked at Marisa's for a year and a half and my entire paycheck went to buying clothes and like watches and jewelry and so I just have too much and I feel like it's time to donate some of it. Um, and it's really cool because our school, I'm a teacher, uh, we have like clothes or like a, a pantry that we can donate to for uh, families that need it and so I love that and so I will be donating all of my stuff to um, that program and I bought this oh my gosh everything's so dusty I bought this at Bath and Body Works bed bath no not bath okay I bought this at bed bath and beyond years ago and it's kind of cool it's just like stackable oh my gosh this Guys, my life, it's a mess. Anyway, so it's just like stackable jewelry boxes. So I thought it was super cute. And so now I'm gonna attempt to kind of organize all of this. Uh, Anovali, are you playing? I used to wear this all the time when I worked there at Marisa's. Going through all of my jewelry was quite the task and honestly took way longer than it looks in this video. Um, I think I spent over two hours just on cleaning out the jewelry part. Um, half because my daughter accidentally knocked over all of my earrings onto the floor so I had to organize that multiple times. And you can see these little plastic bins, I love them, but I had way too much stuff and I ended up folding them in a way where I could see the t-shirts because that was half the problem. I didn't even know what t-shirt was what. A lot of them are school t-shirts that I like to wear on Fridays. Um, so I just wanted to reorganize them, fold them in a way that I can see what t-shirt is what. And so I really like the way it turned out. And I ended up going through all of these drawers. And you're gonna see when I get down to the scarves that I have so many scarves. I was like embarrassed, I didn't even wanna count them. Um, I actually do wear scarves though, and especially with the cold weather here, I think it's just the perfect, um, you know, piece or accessory to have. And so I don't wanna get rid of too many because I do wear them. And I, I think that they're just a good accessory piece as a teacher. Um, and so I did keep most of my scarves. I just love the way that I, uh, put them in the bin because before it was just like a messy pile. So I like how it ended up turning out.
Okay, it is now 10.30 at night. I threw my hair up. I got so hot folding all the laundry. Um, let me tell you, it is night and day different in here to me. Um, I've been looking a lot, like, especially at YouTube videos of, like, different styles of folding and different techniques and, like, how much to get rid of. And I had just gotten rid of, like, a little bit of clothes recently and then... I'm better at getting rid of clothes like when a friend is sitting with me and I get to try everything on or like talk through or like my mom or sister or somebody with me. And so tonight I did the best I could by myself without trying everything on. Cause you could see my girls were trying to help me and um, love, love, love my girls. Let me just show you really quick. This right here, which I don't think I got it on video, maybe part of it, but it holds like all of my little teeny tiny earrings and it got knocked over like all over the carpet. So that's part of why it's 10.30 at night and I'm just now getting done. I just finished vacuuming. I'm gonna give you like a view of everything right when I'm done talking. Some of our clothes though, I do have to say is in our spare room. So like all of my dresses, more of Corey's shoes and like heavier jackets and things and all of Corey's work clothes is in another closet and so that is why we're able to like have um, what we need and what we wear like for every day um, in just this closet and I think it looks pretty good I do think that I could get rid of a little bit more so I'm gonna really try to see actually what I wear in the next few months and then I'd like to donate again maybe before school starts because I think that's when um, like going back to school maybe some of my students uh, would need clothes or family members or just somebody is in need before winter time I want you know to give back to my community so I want to show you guys how it looks I think it looks pretty good actually and I'm like kind of proud of myself that I did it let me tell you though the vacuum lines on the floor make me happy because I couldn't even see the floor so everything um in here uh i will say though like all these cubbies it's like my own version of making like a closet organizer because um over time i've been able to like purchase a few and these right here like come apart which i didn't even know until like pretty recent actually and so i was able to like build it taller but like i've purchased just all of these like cubes and just made my own closet organizer because really there was only like two shelves which just like these wire shelves was just not enough for it to look as organized so cheaper way in my opinion uh is to like buy them over time and when you can and make it yourself instead of like some of those closet organizers oh wow spendy okay but if you haven't already don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'd love to have you guys join the family and i'm gonna give you a little tour
No, no touch, okay. You need help from me, Kelly Ross? <laughs> I did. 